we're able to easily set up the target area using the attached camera. There's a safety check, so die sight components are not destroyed. This is the cutting settings page. We were able to control all aspects of the different cutting operations from this page. We can also control where the touch probe will probe the part. This is useful if there are sensitive areas that we wish to remain undisturbed. On this page we set up the polishing cycles, which slurries we wish to use, the pressures, time spent, and types of polishing we wish to perform. This is the general settings page. We set the number of parts and if we wish to run in fully automated mode on this page. We are verifying the different coordinates, boundary conditions, and the location at which we wish to probe. The system uses two different types of tool setters. A laser for our string loaded polishing tools and a contact tool setter for the solid tools. There is also a safety pad check, which makes sure that a polishing pad is present on the polishing tools. A spindle probe is used to set our cutting and polishing Z offset. We can also use a spindle probe to create a surface profile map of our sample that our cutting path is created off of. There are different cutting operation types. This allows for a fast and accurate sample cut. The cutting path is created by following the profile that either the touch probe or our spectrometer created. The polishing slurry is dispensed automatically onto the die. There are different polishing patterns that can be performed. The feed rate at which the polishing takes place is modulated according to the measured thickness of the die. There is a special cleaning step that removes all residual polishing slurry from the die, so it is ready for the next step. An inferometer is used for thickness measurements. It can accurately measure down to below one half micron. We are able to examine each individual measurement on this page. Here is the interface page where the data is displayed. We're able to make edits and we can also display the data more clearly using an Excel graph. The data is displayed in Excel. If the user is unconfident about a specific data point, it can quickly and easily be remeasured. For delayering, there are many of the same settings and cutting operations as in the backside preparation. However, with this additional software, we are able to quickly and easily modify our toolpath using this visual interface. We can remove more or less from specific areas of our region of interest. We can do this in multiple areas in our sample area.